Thomas Quagmire. Actually, I haven't seen him all week. Methinks he found a new lady friend. Hey, there he is. Hey, guys. What, what's all this? Oh, this little oogie woogie is my new friend, Albertine. She loves to smoke and feels it's not truly a meal unless you serve bread. I don't believe she's ever said any of that. So where have you been low these many days? Oh, I decided to open a cat cafe. What's a cat cafe? It's like a coffee shop, except one where lots of cats live and roam. That's it, Joe. I challenge you to a duel. Pistols at midnight. Peter, did you bring a flamethrower? I also didn't bring one of them laser guns from Ghostbusters. Look, I got me a West! Ah! Ah! Principal Shepard, we were so surprised to get your call. What's going on? Mrs. Griffin, Meg, and Chris were caught cheating. They had the Lost Boys of the Sudan standing in for them in gym class. Nice block, Griffin! Nice shot, other Griffin. What do you think about this, Peter? Bad. Very bad. Here it is, guys. What do you think? I'm realizing I may have a cat allergy. Peter, we have to talk. What fireworks? After what happened today with Meg and Chris at school. Yeah, the world's better now that corporations read our most private communications and then sell back at us the very things they've eavesdropped about. Even before this, I'd worried about our church attendance dropping off. Lois, you know I love you like a brother, but I'm not doing that. I'd only get in an awkward campfire crackle argument with a counselor. Hey, shut up! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What is all this? I happen to own this place. It's a cat cafe. Now get out of here, you're making all my cats angry. That's why they're hissing. Fine, but I'm about to become your worst nightmare. No way, I've already had my worst nightmare. Well, first, I'm driving through a forest, but it's actually inside, which is weird, right? They're yelling at me in German, and I understood them, but I don't speak German. And then SNL is starting, and I'm clearly in the... And the weird thing is, I have this dream over and over... Listening to other people's nightmares is my worst nightmare! <laughs> okay, Peter, the kids and I are off to church camp. Wait a minute. You got any booze in that bag, mister? No, sir. There you go. Now chug all this next to a lake, you little rascal. Shut down the cat cafe. It's a nuisance and a threat to public health. City Ordinance 321C states, food or drink shall not be prepared or consumed within 20 feet of fecal matter. And as long as Brian's got your attention, is it taking anyone else longer to wipe? Wikipedia states that toxoplasmosis is a parasitic disease spread by exposure to infected cat feces. You're a jerk, but fine. If it's a fight you want, you got one. I will squash you like a bug. Welcome to Sunrise Woods Bible Camp. I'm the camp director, Vera. What a lovely setting. Yes, the fresh air really helps clear your mind of thoughts of Tom Selleck. Ugh, Mom, this place sucks. It's even worse than when Dad sent us to 1940s comedy school. Good evening, quite a battle brewing. Clever news pun, doesn't really work, as I haven't yet mentioned the subject of the story, at Quahog's new cat cafe. Tom, I'm standing here outside of Quahog's new cat cafe. Brian Griffin has described the cafe as a threat to public health. Okay, Brian, I brought everything we need. Water, sunscreen, fruit roll-ups, batteries. Brian, I'm glad you're here. Based on the various public health concerns you raise, the city has decided to shut this establishment down. That's right. Thanks to you, I'm out of business. I certainly hope you're happy. Oh, nice top, Stewie. Wow. I actually got the place shut down. We've hardly done anything together since we made that fiber commercial and had to use code words for pooping. How are those drawings of Jesus coming? Okay, a little dark on the hair there. Let's lighten it up. Eyes should be blue. I'd like to move on to having you all sign your contracts with God. Yep, it's a written commitment to forego all alcohol, drugs, and self-pleasure. I tell you, it's a good day, Stewie. Now that that cat cafe is gone, I can finally get back to my favorite bar and do some writing. What? I come in here all the time. Well, apparently due to some recent public health concerns, the city has said that no animals of any kind are allowed in any public establishment. Well, that's all right, Brian. We can go to my writing spot. Did you hear me? The best pizza and Pepsi. Oh, no, my pizza and Pepsi. Oh, hey, Peter. Come on in. Thanks for coming by. I figured anyone living alone with 73 cats needs to have a double XL Minnie Mouse sweatshirt. So how's it going? Well, not bad. Got plenty of company. Well, that's good. So can I get you something to drink? Sure. What do you got? Well, I've got water with cat hair in it. Mm, kind of a summer drink. Anything else? Oh, sure. Cat hair ginger ale? Mm, nope. You want to just take a look in the fridge, see what I got? Sure. What's up? 
What are you doing? Nothing. Just sitting here trying to figure out why we have stupid purple couches. Brian, is this all because you haven't been able to get a drink? I haven't been able to go anywhere. No dogs allowed in public places. Emotional support animal? Wear this. Every place will have to let you in. Mom, we don't really have to get baptized, do we? No, Meg, just hang towards the back of the line. Brother Chris. Do it again. You're supposed to be giving me emotional support right now. Let's just get to the bar. No, no, Brian. Say something nice about me or I'll disappear like a serial killer in a 90s movie. Stewie, wait, I need you to get in. I'm gonna do it. Okay, who's ready for some breakfast? Oh, crap, another one died. Oh, hey, Quagmire. We came to see how it's going. I got a dead cat on a pitchfork. I don't even know which can to put it in. Okay, we're getting out of this place tonight. I wonder if I could perhaps say grace tonight. Oh, that'd be lovely, Lois. Ugh, good riddance, Christian family camp. Well, Meg, you know Chris is a little bit dumb. And I know you're not particularly popular or beautiful, but you do have a hat on your shoulder. What are you guys talking about? How handsome you are. <laughs> really? Swear to God. Stupid law. Banning dogs. Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. <laughs> Now time to make my getaway. Ryan, oh my god, are you all right? Ah, oh, thanks. That is better. You know what? I'm sorry I destroyed your dream, Quagmire. I know you loved that cafe. I just thought if I created something that makes people happy, maybe people would remember me for that. I'm here for you. For emotional support. Thanks, Brian. The city repealed a law prohibiting animals from public businesses today. Well, I'm glad you get to go out in public again, Brian. Well, I'm glad you, Chris, and Meg are back from that Christian camp. Hey, where is Meg, anyway? Come on, Meg! <laughs> Family Guy, over! On Foxy!